హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు పివైక్యూ సిరీస్ ఫస్ట్ జస్ట్ రీడర్ క్వశ్చన్ ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఇన్ ద గివెన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ విచ్ ఇన్పుట్ గివెన్ హెర్ ద సమ్ పల్స్ ఇన్పుట్ ఈస్ గివెన్ పల్ పల్స్ ఇన్పుట్ ఈస్ గివెన్ అకార్డింగ్ టు గివెన్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ హ్యాంగ్ ఎనీ ఇన్షియల్ వాల్యూ it is not hang any initial value what is the requirement peak value of the capacitor what is the requirement is the peak voltage our requirement is peak voltage of the capacitor now come go to the answer for this one first let us obtain the general equation for this one let us obtain the general equation to conclude our required answer first let us assume as a the given input the given input is exist up to the infinite seconds with that assumption first let us obtain general equation after that one for a given pulse input duration let us find out the voltage in the question itself given initial voltage initial voltage what is the initial voltage of the capacitor is equal to 0 initial voltage capacitor equal to zero what is the verma requirement vc of infinite vc of infinite now if you assume this one as a it is operating for the given input exists for infinite condition at t equal to infinite at t equal to infinite how this capacitor behaves as a open circuit how this capacitor behaves as a open circuit vc of infinite to find out this vc of infinite simply can you use the application of the voltage division technique can you use the application of the voltage division technique total voltage distributed between the first element and the second element voltage across this one output voltage both are the same if you apply voltage division technique total voltage multiply with similar resistance by total resistance if you simplify this one what is the vc of infinite vc of infinite what is the vc of infinite equal 10 volts if the given input exists for the long time then we get the capacitor voltage as a 10 volts final voltage also completed now to obtain the general equation what is the one more requirement equivalent resistance and equivalent capacitance that means we need the time constant we need the time constant of the capacitor let us find out the time constant while finding time constant while finding time constant what is the provisor deactivate all the given independent sources now it is deactivated given voltage is a deactivated we have to make the voltage equal to zero voltage zero means we indicate as a short circuit we indicate as short circuit hmm. to find out the time constant we need the equivalent resistance and equivalent capacitance 
in the given example only single capacity is given now let us find out equivalent resistance now with respect to common terminals with respect to common terminals we should separate the group of capacitors and group of resistors in the given example only single capacity is given now let us find out the equivalent resistance now with respect to ab terminals with respect to ab terminals in this example how this 1k and 10k both are connected to the panel both are in the panel can you find out the equivalent resistance If you simplify this one, now we got the equivalent resistance. Now equivalent resistance now in the question itself, uh, equivalent capacitance also given. What the equivalent capacitance is a eleven nanofarad. From this one, can you find out the respect to time constant? What the capacitance value is a eleven nanofarad. If you simplify this one, then what is the time constant equal to? What is the time constant? Ten microseconds. Time constant ten microseconds. Now we got the time constant also. Then in this example. Final voltage, but the final voltage is ten volts. Final voltage is ten volts. But the time constant is a ten microseconds. Now this is a voltage equation. This voltage equation is valid provided the given input exists for the long time. Given ex exists for the long time. But according to given information, is there which type of the input given here? Pulse input is given. The pulse input is exist only for the ten microseconds. That means indirectly you can say this pulse input exist only for the one time constant. It is exist only for the one time constant. Then after the input voltage becomes a zero. Input voltage becomes a zero. In the question, what they ask for the peak value of the voltage. From this one, we can conclude as a as long as this input is exist, as long as this input is exist. That means at exactly ten microseconds, the capacitor voltage will be maximum. Then after once the source is disconnected, when source is disconnected, then the capacitor the discharging. Once the capacitor is discharging, its magnitude voltage goes on decreases, goes on decreases. That means sir, for a given input, the capacitor voltage will be maximum, maximum, provided when over the time equal to ten microseconds, ten microseconds. Then here in this example, in this example, can you substitute the T equal ten microseconds? Can you substitute T equal ten microseconds? If you substitute T equal ten microseconds by simplifying this one, by simplifying this one, what is the VC equal to? Six point three two. Six point three two volts. So for this example, generally many students do one common mistake. Simply they do common mistake as they in the given network capacitor the charging. That means it is a bit source. Simply to conclude a required answer, they go for this formula. Simply they go for this formula. V S of Simply they go for this formula, but here remember as a this formula is valid. This formula is valid provided the 
this formula is valid provided capacitor final voltage and source voltage both are exactly equal this formula is valid provided the capacitor the capacitor final voltage and source voltage both are exactly equal now in this example a t equal to infinite where capacitor will be open circuited when capacitor open circuited open circuit voltage source voltage both are exactly equal now at that instant only this formula is valid at that instant only this formula is valid but in a given network in the given network in the given network here the at steady state condition also that means if the source exists for long time also the capacitor voltage is not equal to exactly source voltage reason is that here the two resistors are the present two resistors are given that means with help of the voltage division technique with help of the voltage division technique we have to find out the voltage across the capacitor you have to find out the voltage across the capacitor